Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How are you guys girls doing? Yay! <laughs> good job on the intro. Very good. Thank you. What are you going to be learning today? Today I will be learning programming. Yes, C++ programming. This is what you guys wanted. So we're going to be doing a little mini tutorial series on C++ and we're going to try to make a little game of some sort and it might be five, six episodes, something, depending on how fast you learn. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm not a fast learner. <laughs> Actually, I'm but I'm a fast that. teacher. So we'll see, hopefully that will work out. But that's what we're going to be doing. And are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited, but I have no idea what programming is. To me, it's like, I see you working, but I only see like numbers and letters and... Uh, yeah, like the I matrix don't I don't zero have, one zero uh, one. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I... She's not a programmer. Nope. She does makeup and she eats food. I'm studying to become a nurse, so we have completely different professions. That's how it is. That's how it is. You're supposed to be different. Opposites attract, but we'll see if we can mix these opposites today a little bit, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Have fun. Too cute. Too cute. All right, guys and girls, it's time for some questions. So this is how I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna ask her a few questions about programming and she's gonna answer as best as she can. Remember, she doesn't know anything about programming, so I just wanna hear what she thinks and then I'm just gonna give the right answer or my perspective. So the okay. first question, what do you think programming is? It's a big question. Uh, programming, it has something to do with the computer. Good, <laughs> okay, next, next. That's a good start, thank yeah. you. Next. <laughs> but, um, mm, uh, languages for the computers uh -huh. and they build stuff and have you been watching you my can... videos uh, have you been cheating no nope. you've been cheating nope. okay that's a pretty good answer answer you were uh, uh, you were well, not done yet. okay 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 <laughs> more and they have different languages this uh -huh. i know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can make the computer perform different tasks or machines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay maybe i might have perhaps. talked to you about this before a little bit but okay you remembered so that's a good thing she remembered so that's a pretty okay. good answer so you said languages have something to do with computers mm -hmm. and they can make the computer do different stuff. things stuff mm -hmm. and you mentioned different languages right yep. so that's my second question so why do you think we have different languages uh, different languages because the uh, the computer only understand certain kinds of letters and numbers mm -hmm. and i think they're they're part of the same system but at the same time they are not maybe okay yeah that makes sense that makes sense all right i think i understand you mean that i mean it's, it's a little difference in the languages but they all do the same thing is that what you mean they're part of the same they're thing but the maybe they, okay. they they don't perform the same tasks okay maybe. yeah 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 so a different language that's for something guess. else and a, and a different language for something else right something like yeah. that Okay, that's a good, pretty good question or answer. All right, so we'll leave it at that. No, I want to know the true answer. No, after, after, at the end, you all know the true answers, okay? Okay, my third question is going to be, is going to be, is going to be. Yeah, I think Do I you to. have a third question? I don't know. <laughs> I want to ask you a very good question, which you can't know the answer, so no pressure. What's the difference between RAM and hard drive? Um, <laughs> I want the hard drive is bigger than RAM. <laughs> Not in all cases, but okay, in most cases. Um, most cases, um, correct. Um, the hard drive is what you see in the computer. When you open my computer, that's what you see. <laughs> you mean hard drive in, in my computer. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, exactly, okay, exactly, okay, okay. Exactly. She means the app, my computer. Okay, or the, or the icon. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's another good thing. Okay. So, but why do we have RAM then? What um, is RAM? RAM is a thing in the computer. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's a green thing. It's yeah, you showed thing? me once. Okay. It's a green it's... thing with the uh, metal stuff on it. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, <laughs> it's just that's all it is. It's just a green no, plastic it has function, piece. No, functional function of course, okay, but okay. I'm not sure what it is. That's good. Okay, that's a good that's a good answer. Since you're a gamer somewhat, I wanted to ask you about RAM. And RAM is very important for us as well in programming. So to the correct answers or they might not be correct 100% since it's my interpretation of it. But the first question, what mm -hmm. was the first question again? It was, what, program, what, what is programming? programming? Is. Okay, so you pr you pretty much said what it was somewhat. It okay. is, it's a way to communicate with the computer, to give it commands. I think you, you said 
commands, mm -hmm. right? So so yeah, you type really. something here and something happens over there. Yeah. Right? And I'll, I'll get into this in the second question as well. The answers, they're kind of combined here. But it's it's a way for the human to kind of write something in, in an easier type of mm -hmm. form, right? And then, and then you build that up and you send it to the computer and it, it does what you tell it to do. Okay, so that's good. But the second second question is more interesting, I think. Why, why we have different, different languages. languages yeah. Okay, there's some dude here, Bob, and there's Mark over here. And Bob... Real, real persons. Yeah, different persons. Just, okay, metaphors, okay. Different people. Okay, this guy, he wants to make a programming language. And this guy wants to make a programming language. Okay. Okay, just like this guy wanted to make French and this guy made Spanish. Right? Oh, so they're, they're there's like two different, different founders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Languages. But what's what's the common factor of two languages? Or almost all languages might have this, right? Rules, right? Oh, grammar, yeah. grammar and grammar. stuff. There's always syntax, a base. Syntax, syntax. Syntax. Good, yeah. good, good. All languages have a syntax. It's rules based. What they what are they all built of? What do we talk with the computer with, right? The computer has its own basic language called uh, machine code okay mm -hmm. that's your zeros and ones that's literally your zeros and mm -hmm. ones and everything the numbers yeah but humans can't write in zeros and ones that easily right it's really tough you want to do something small you have to do all the zeros and one crap you don't want to do that so bob here and mark here was like ah oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna create a language that makes it easier for us to do stuff yeah print this to the screen and it does it so that's why they took that hard stuff they made a layer on top of so that so basically they they build languages for programmers yes yes to make it easy i'm sorry correct easier. me if i'm wrong but that's what my interpretation is and that's what i think of it and different mm -hmm. languages have different strengths and different weaknesses and then you have different types of languages you have scripting languages which are kind of even a layer up okay and they, they you can combine them in different ways you don't have to think mm -hmm. about that but okay. still that's a good good answer next thing the last and final question was what is the difference between ram and a hard drive and it was good you open my computer and you see <laughs> you see all your hard drives okay you have to go into some other detail manager to see how much ram you have you know but that's fine ram is what your computer uses as a short-term memory while it's on Mm -hmm, okay? okay and it's usually smaller it's about you know 16 gigabytes 8 gigabytes and whatever you're doing mm -hmm. while you're working programs usually store their information in the ram to quickly just grab it and send oh, it okay. instructions like short-term memory yeah so when you're okay. doing stuff in programming you create a little box mm -hmm. called a variable where you want to store a name jutti you mm -hmm. want to store your name and that's going to be created in the ram not the hard drive because it wants to quickly just save things and get things, right? Mm -hmm. Hard drives are for persistent memory. So there's memory that when just you like shut... Just like a brain. Yeah, it's like a brain, right? But your long-term long memory, memory, yeah. yeah. So hard drive is the long-term memory and the RAM is the short-term Yeah, you can think of it like that, kind of. And, and it's faster. Your short-term memory is much faster to get things. The hard drive is slow to get things from. You don't mm. want to go there. You don't want to grab things from it too much. You want to store mm. a big file and maybe open it once and then grab some stuff. But yeah, you don't have to think about that. And hard drives are larger, so you can save things. You turn the computer off, and it's still there. Mm -hmm. But RAM memory gets oh, it cleared. disappears. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's how that works. Okay. But good. Did she do good? I hope she did good. Put that down in the comment section. She's been really cute and really good. Okay. Good job. In the next video, we're gonna do the programming part. Of Finally. The series. Finally. And she's gonna get to code, get her hands on the keyboard, get her hands dirty. Uh, and mm -hmm. that's gonna be real fun. That's the whole thing we wanted to do, but we thought we'd split it up to be a little easier. We get more time to code, and hopefully you guys like that. So stay tuned. See you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye bye. bye, -bye.